So previously I talked about art style. You can check out the video. I talked about what I understood about it and how you can develop your own art style. Today I'm going to be applying those teachings so I can make my artwork look like that of Yusuke Nomura, the artist of Blue Lock. Well, kind of. Maybe not. Just, just stick around. <laughs> I'm going to be using my character Alex Maduka as we go along. Now Yusuke Nomura's art style is just it's just it's just pleasing to the eye. You just take a look at it and you just kind of wanna draw, at least for me. And why is that? Because well, because it looks kind of simple. And I don't mean that in a bad or berating manner. But but you will always flop if you try to study or imitate his style if you don't understand basic anatomy. If you have even an intermediate grasp on human anatomy and perspective, it would be like you've gained the Sharingan into how Yusuke Nomura draws, into how any artist draws in fact and it will be relatively easy to mimic their style. Why I always compliment him is because of his consistency in quality. He just deserves applauding. Some noticeable things about his style are the way he draws faces. Face, body type and clothing are the first things we notice about someone and so the noticeable things about his art style are the huge eyes of his characters, small nose usually and hatching lines usually below the nose, the jaw and wherever shading is required like the clothes or other parts of the body. I like how he draws the profile view of his characters, their eyes, not all the time though because sometimes they are too expressive for me and I may not want to express that kind of emotion the same way he did. So I'll just scrap that part. Also I like adding the top plane of the lower eyelid whenever I can. He doesn't do it but it's just my taste. I may not want to adopt some things in his art style because remember I'm doing this in my own way picking what I like and leaving what I don't. Following the point I made about individuality in my art styles video, I may like how he draws profiles in general, their jawline, eyes and whatnot, but I may not want to adopt the way he draws mouths for instance because I like the close to realistic looking mouths, I like the upper lip and lower lip being visible, so I try to make it work while still studying and staying close to his style. If you are able to nail how he draws the head, nose, eyes and mouth or at least understand it to a certain degree, the rest is quite simple really because it's just normal anatomy. Where it gets a bit tricky is in the area of perspective. Yusuke Nomura knows his perspective, like no kidding, the guy is no joke. Just take a good look at this. I'm not saying to draw like him, you need to master perspective. I'm saying you need to understand it at least to get started because he is able to create a scene as dynamic as this because he understands human anatomy and how he can manipulate that understanding to do illustrations of things that are you know really interesting in space whilst moving the story forward and that's all there is to it honestly. Let's talk medium. Now this is a tad bit off topic but I feel medium is still important to know, at least in understanding art style. Medium is basically means of communication, simple. So I have a huge crush on semi-realism slash semi-stylized art. I like characters being drawn anatomically correct and in cool and expressive poses. When I saw a gun or machine or whatever being drawn in a certain way that wasn't close or even suggesting realism, I wasn't impressed. When I looked at an artwork and saw something like an overly exaggerated feature, it wouldn't appeal to me at the time. I kind of looked down on them. How foolish of me, I know, I lacked understanding. How naive of me to not know that those guys were operating at a much higher level of skill than I could comprehend. And the reason why those projects I looked down on worked was because a proper medium that best fits the art style was chosen. So medium right? We're talking about storyboards, animatics, single illustration, concept art for environment, animation, 2D or 3D, comic books, manga, magazines 
film series and many more new mediums come out every day just just pick one i learned that developing a simplified art style is important for certain entertainment mediums and processes because it sets the tone and mood for whatever it is you are being entertained by or you are entertaining people for that naive mentality i had where i dismissed simplified art styles was also slam dunked in the trash especially when i began reading studying and enjoying manga still on the topic of medium and it matching your art style doing rick and morty as a live action from the get-go for instance which is majorly a sci-fi sitcom and adventure would probably do okay I mean, I'm not a sage, but it'll probably be more of a miss than a hit as compared to it being animated in the style and the way that it currently is. So, because it's not realistic and it's animated in the way it is, we can just switch our brains off and not think about what pocket Rick always brings his portal gun from <laughs> or, or prove to us realistically how he can turn into a pickle and back or some other ridiculousness that goes on in the show. The style and story works for that medium. Same goes for Akin with the semi-realistic painterly style that they adopted. It fits right in with the story and the vibe that the show was going for. So this is one of the things I'm thinking of whenever I'm studying a new art style that I might want to implement. Now Blue Lock, as amazing as it is, wouldn't work effectively in a live action adaptation the same way it would for an anime. Mostly due to the way the story is written, the inner monologues, analysis that goes on in-game and many other things that would just drive the audience crazy. Skip the series and go watch something else. Like, why would I want to know what Rashford is thinking when he's taking on Trippier and whether or not he's developed a new shooting technique and whether or not he thinks it'll work? Just show me the move, bro. But when it comes to something like Justice League, Avengers, or Spider-Man, it's easily adapted to both live-action comic and animation, even though the stories are reconstructed in different ways to fit that medium. Another one is Vinland Saga. Imagine animating Vinland Saga in the style of Big Mouth. Like, it wouldn't work because these are different genres. Big Mouth's genre is sitcom and adult animation. Vinland Saga is action and historical fiction. They give off different vibes, so the style is bound to be different. So the genre you pick influences the story and that in turn influences the medium which also affects the art style and vice versa, I guess. It's... it's... It's kind of interchangeable but just it's just a good thing to note. And even though I'm seriously attracted to works that look kind of realistic, I now have a newfound appreciation for extremely stylized works and I try to see what I can learn from them. Because art is more than just how realistic or stylized the face of your character looks. It's about studying perspective, studying shadows, variety, balance, movement, texture, space shape and a lot a lot more that would take forever to master in order to become a quote-unquote complete artist yeah so that's it that's all i have for the art style of, of yusuke nomura i know i added a bit of something that may not like be totally important but please if there's anything i missed let me know in the comments my knowledge is not infinite and someone might pick a thing or two from what you have to say Please like, subscribe and click on the notification icon. You can check me out on Instagram and Twitter. You can check out my manga IAT to um, chapter 3 is coming out very soon. Links are in the description. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here. Until next time my people, I'm John Apex and peace.